Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Charlie and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can price your agency services. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to correctly choose the right pricing strategy in depth. And if you mess this up, then there's not much hope for your agency because this is like really important, arguably one of the most important parts of running an agency. So before we get into it, right? you must understand these crucial factors first. And this is going to be applicable for whatever niche, whatever service you provide. Even if you've already got a pricing model and a pricing strategy, you'll, you'll gain value from this video, I promise. So the first thing you need to understand, right, is people buy on the prediction that they will get their values worth in the future. For example, let's say you pay me $2,000 and I work with you and I book you meetings and I get you clients. You're predicting that in the future, you will make up for that initial invest investment. And the reason we use investment when talking about prices on sales calls, not costs or um, other language, we use investment because it gets the prospect to think long term, not, at, not like a liability, where if you told me it's a cost of or the price is um, $2,000, that makes them think of it as a liability, not an investment. So the next thing you need to understand is superior pricing, so charging high ticket, will almost always be based on skill and what you can deliver for your clients. Like with a chatbot, it's the same thing. Uh, the better you are at doing it and building it and tailoring it to your clients, the more you can charge. Now, another thing to note is expansion, erosion, that's what I call it, quality assurance, and then diminishing returns. So let's say you're a beginner and you charge $1,000 a month as a retainer to run Facebook ads. It doesn't really matter. I'm using this as an example. Once you get past five, five clients, 10 clients, you're not going to want to charge $1,000 anymore. You're going to want to up it. And the reason for that is because as you scale, you can't keep the same quality for your clients as you could when you only had a few clients. Because obviously you're scaling, you've got more clients, more people to help. Um, so you're going to want to increase your prices the more clients you have, which means that you can hire people who are better than you at certain aspects of you know running an agency and give them money and yeah just deliver a better service because you get cash up front and because you can outsource it to better people. So the final thing is cost analysis. You need to make sure that obviously you need to know your costs and what it will cost to deliver the service. Um, and then you can sort of tie that into the pricing because obviously if you if it costs more to get the service then you're going to want to charge more so a simple um, so before we go into that pricing is not just about covering costs it's about finding the right balance between customer perception value provided and profitability regularly um, revisiting your pricing strategy as a service um, as your service evolves and the market changes to ensure you're staying competitive and maximizing your revenue potential. So I think Charles Darwin once said that it's not the fittest or the strongest of species that survive. It is the ones that can adapt to their environment. Staying competitive in terms of pricing model is vital. Now, here's a basic pricing equation for you to do right now for your sort of agency. So price equals total cost plus total cost times uh, desired profit margin. So if we quickly look at what this would be, obviously I don't expect you guys to charge this high um, if you're only doing chatbots using BotPress and Stack AI and no code softwares. This is more for people who are actually building and coding um, the, soft, the, the, the software, if that makes sense. So let's just say I'm using basic numbers here, 10,500 to uh, 5,000 so you understand. So direct cost, 10 grand, indirect cost, five grand, basic numbers, total cost equals $10,000 plus $5,000 equals $15,000. Um, let's say you want to achieve a profit margin of 30%. Obviously, it'll be a lot higher for you guys who are running ads, content creation, appointment booking agencies, stuff like that, which is actually what I do. Um, but how you work this out is price equals total cost plus bracket total cost times desired profit margin. So like what I just explained, $15,000 plus $15,000 times um, 30% which is the profit margin equals you'll charge 19,500. Now, obviously you won't charge that much unless you're actually coding it and doing it yourself. Um, but that's just an example of how you can do it. Now, obviously I've gone a lot more in depth than this because I want to help you out. So let me move this down a bit. So the first sort of 
pricing model is subscription. This suits a chatbot and SaaS agencies mainly, so software companies and stuff like that. So the first one's free to offer a limited version of your chatbot service for free. It doesn't have to be a chatbot, it could be whatever, um, but this mainly works for software agencies or SaaS. Now this could be, uh, this could include basic features like functionalities um, and yeah, so it allows the customer to get a taste of it. And if you have a good product, which you should, because a good product is literally everything, then the customer or the client will have no problem upgrading to the basic pro and even the enterprise tier. Um, so yeah, I recommend having a basic tier, pro tier and an enterprise uh, tier, because obviously how you will, I assume most of you guys, unless you actually have a software sort of company, you'll get people on sales calls um, and identify where they're at with their business, how big it is, how much revenue, how much profit they're making. And you can accordingly tailor a business sort of pricing strategy to their specific needs, if that makes sense. And that's why we have custom plans and these enterprise plans. But yeah, you should have like a basic and pro tier stuff for that. Now, um, actually one more thing, you can also do a setup fee plus a monthly maintenance fee. This is probably the most common one. So for example, you do a chatbot, um, it would be a setup fee of, I don't know, $3,000 and then you would charge them 297 a month to keep it running smoothly. That's an example. Those are rough numbers. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just a basic idea. Next is lead gen um, agency pricing. And if you stick to the end of the video in literally like five minutes, I'm gonna go over my pricing strategy. So how I price my agency services. So lead gen, um, yeah, services include like lead um, creation, landing pages, stuff like that, even ads. So Facebook ads, TikTok ads, um, then maybe use high level um, to essentially uh, get those leads and automate the whole process essentially um, using like a CRM like high level. Um, so yeah, once again, standard, premium, enterprise, basic, similar, I recommend doing that. Now, other services, for example, ads, content creation and appointment setting agencies, similar to what I do, I run an AI creative agency, which means that I help online coaches, um, more specifically fitness coaches, with um, streamlining their operations, getting meetings, creating content, um, and just ultimately booking them more meetings because I understand that is what most people want more meetings So it would be a monthly retainer. So and once again, these are ballpark numbers. Don't take this to um, Literal this is literally rough estimates So for a beginner who's got less than six months experience you would charge anywhere from 500 to um, $1,250 per month intermediate six months to 14 months experience I recommend charging $1,250 to $2,250. And if you're highly experienced and highly skilled, you've been in the game for more than two years, you've got a great service, great product, and you've, you've delivered results time and time again, you've got social proof, then you can charge anywhere from $2,250 a month to 5K a month or even more, depending on the niche and service. However, with that being said, it's not just about how long you've been doing it and how skilled you are. There are a lot of other considerations um, and other factors that go into it. I wanted to give you these rough estimates so you have a better understanding, but it really depends on your niche, service, and what you're delivering for them. Um, and my saying is that there's no such thing as too high of a price. There's only a such thing as not enough of value. So for example, um, if I offered you a Lamborghini for $10,000, you would find the money and you would buy it because you understand that the value is much higher than the price I'm offering it to you. And it's the exact same thing. Um, if your service is that good and you make it an irresistible offer, people will buy it no matter what, no matter how much you charge, if they see the value in it. Because once again, people buy on the prediction that they will get the values worth months down the line, years down the line, potentially. So those are a few things to note. And hopefully that gives you a basic understanding of the pricing model and what to do. Now I'm going to go into my pricing strategy. So what I recommend for each and one, uh, uh, each and one and every of you, so I messed it up a bit, but um, is to essentially create an upfront payment. Now, the reason we want as much cash flow as possible upfront, and this is for any online business, is because once we get the cash flow, we can then build a better product. We can give the client a better experience because we can put the money that they gave us into hiring better people, into delivering a better service. 
and just building a relationship. So what I would do is, let's say you do a monthly retainer, which most of you guys would do. Let's say it's a 90 day, three months, it's a retainer. And let's say you charge, I'm just basic numbers, 2K a month for your service. What I would do is I would have an option, which is 6K for the 90 days, right? I would recommend saying to them that if you do $5,250 or $5,000 now, that will cover the three months and you get $1,000 off. So that's how I would position it. I would position it like we can give you a massive discount if you pay up front. If you pay the the 5K um, up front and then that covers you for the next three months. And if you're getting price resistance, so if they say that's too much, you can then price anchor for $2,000 a month, which then sounds like a good deal because we've psychologically, we've done a price anchor from 5K to 2K a month. Now, are there downsides to doing this? Yes. Downsides are you may get lazy. You may not want to help the client as much because they've paid you already. Um, so if you're starting out and you don't have the right sort of back-end systems, it is probably smarter to do a 2K a month sort of retainer or 1k a month retainer because it allows you to actually work hard with that client because you know that if you do a good job next month they'll pay you instead of them just giving you a fat um, lump of money right away so yeah that's the only downside but yeah it really comes down to experience level and how long you've been in the game and you just um, your relationship with dealing with people as well um, I think it was John D. Rockefeller. If you've read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, um, my my good friend John, I love that quote, but he says, um, I think it was something like this. It was dealing with people, uh, dealing with people is as perchable as a commodity as coffee and sugar. And basically what that means is that dealing with people is a skill within itself. Because I've had it in the past where I've delivered an amazing result for my client, got him, you know, a free four times return on investment, and they still didn't end up working with me or retaining them. Um, whereas I've not delivered a good product before, um, occasionally, and they've stuck with me. Why? Because building a relationship and building a connection between you and the client is also very important. So that's another tip for retention um, and dealing with people. Make sure you have good communication. Um, and stuff like that but hopefully this video helped and just gave you a basic understanding of how to present your pricing um, you know I talked about price anchoring you know the subscription base I talked about the um, you know the basic packaging standard packaging everything um, so yeah I mean it really depends on what service you're providing but once again hopefully this video helped uh, if like comment and subscribe if it did um, and if you want my one-to-one -one coaching and you want me to build you an offer give you leads basically build you a outreach system that can book, you know, 100 meetings a month, then I'll leave a link in the description. It'll be the first link. Um, yeah, book a call with me, see if I can help you. If not, no worries. Um, and yeah, that's everything from me. Um, maybe put in the comments, like what YouTube videos you want to see next. I'm down to, um, you know, work on what you guys want to see, because that's why I'm making these videos. But yeah, um, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.